Now. Now. I need to get 11. It's going nuts. Oh, so it's all three crystals have to go in there. I'm only doing something nuts. I'm not standing next to that. Hey, folks. Welcome back to After Work Gaming. Tonight, we're back in Quern, and here we are at the Northern Overlook, looking straight into the mechanics. Now, last time, this panel turned on, and uh, we still can't pull the lever or anything, but we can rotate these rings in order to move the plates inside. You see one, two, three, and there's really four plates because there are four rings. And this button selects which rings we can move. Now, uh, I had some thought about how we go about moving these rings in a way that makes sense and we just don't, like, blunder around. But, uh, for the first time, or for the time being, before we even go do that, what I want to do is I'm positioning the plates so I can test something. When we first came here, there was an opening on this end, and a plate was missing on that door, okay? I've moved the opening, at least, to the opposite side, which is where the other door is, and I'm certain, or I'm rather... almost, almost certain, that there now should be two plates missing at this door, okay? So let's just double-check that, because before we go around you know, rotating everything for no reason whatsoever. Um, just want to check to make sure that we know where we are rotating to. Yes, here it is. One, two. Okay? The two plates are gone. So now, let's go back to the overlook, and I will show you what I had in mind. Now, as is very common for these games, you know, I stopped playing this, and about five minutes later, it dawned on me that this is how you probably go about moving these plates in a well-defined algorithm. So, here is... let me show you, first of all, this is it. This is the way... this is the thing that makes the entire method work. The fact that this ring moves by itself means that you can now independently start moving everything else, even though it doesn't necessarily seem that way, you just have to ignore <laughs> you have to ignore half of what you're seeing. So let me show you what I mean. Let's start with this, okay? Now, I can move the outer ring in any way I want. It's already positioned, but for the, for the, sake, of, for the sake of argument, right? I can move it any way I want. And the inner ring is going to move. Okay, but I don't care about whether or not the inner ring moves. Why? Because I have this setting, which means then I can position the inner ring... I don't care where this third ring goes. Why? Well, again, because I can move it by itself anywhere I want. And if this one moves by itself, it means that its movement, or the, the movement of the one where the two of them are linked, this one, I really don't care what the third ring does. I just want to focus on, the sec on this inner ring. Which also means, when you're set like this, I only care about the outer ring. Because then I know that I can move the inner ring without really caring, because then I'll be able to move the third ring by itself, okay? So the only real setting here is this one. But again, I can really concentrate on the second ring. I don't care about the outer ring, because the outer ring, I'll be able to move, and then I'll move the inner ring, but who cares? Because then I'll move the inner ring, and then I can move the third ring in and of itself, okay? So let me show you how this works, because we're actually going to have to go through all of them. So we're set like this. This is the first one that you have to start out with. We're going to move this second ring. We do not care, or I personally do not care, what happens to this outer ring. It's actually going to flip. Okay? So here we go. Let's just rotate it around. Okay? All I care about right now is positioning this second ring. Okay? Positioned. Now, all I care about here is positioning the outer ring. Because the only thing that matters because now I can move this inner ring, okay? Now, all I care about is positioning the inner ring. Okay? Now, it looks like I'm, you know, breaking progress, but I'm not, because now I'm here, and I can move this third ring however I want. And so, having done that, and having really only focused on the rings that I care about in any one of these settings, I've opened up the door, guaranteed. Nope, doesn't move. That means that we have to go and do something in the machine, or the, in the mechanics.
Oh, I already discovered them. I can't. Ooh. I like this. Brass and wood and crystal. Sort of machinery assembly. From number five, three is reason uh, the sun and number. Okay, we're gonna take out sun. Ah. I'm guessing those are the clues for this. Okay, but let's read the letter first. You've managed to get into the mechanics. Clearly, you've completed all of my previous challenges. This could mean that you are a genius, fulfilling all of my expectations, and you are truly worthy of all the further knowledge I'm about to offer you. Or you could just as well be a fool, considering the fact that the power of Quorum literally gives you infinite time to guess the solutions of all my puzzles. One way or the other, I'm sure your presence here is no mistake. Your participation in this matter is absolutely essential. If she were to appear to you, she would try to poison your mind with her misleading lies. You must ignore her, just as I once did. Hmm. So he's still all about the warden. This is the gear assembly we just saw, I think, and this is by hard work all things increase. Okay. Uh, increase and grow, pardon me. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Let me... I'm gonna read this stuff with you one more time, a little more clearly, obviously. And, uh... Take notes. Because I don't want to keep looking at this as I solve the number puzzle. Or the puzzle nearby. Alright, so here we go. From number five to number three is reachable with a knight's moon. Uh, so that's that L shape. Three and two. Okay. The sum of the numbers in the third row is seven. Okay, so that can either be four and three or five and two, right? Because I... Sorry, let me just double check. Yeah, there's only five numbers. One, two, three, four, five. That's what I saw the last, the first time. All right, number four stands alone in the column on the far left. Okay. In none of the rows can stand a number that's greater than the numbers in the row below it. Okay, it's a four by four grid. I'm gonna go ahead and say right now that this means that the third row is four and three. I'll tell you why in a second, but I'm pretty sure that that's the case. That's, that that's the solution. Not the solution, but that that's what's gonna happen right now. If you add up all the numbers in the fourth column, the result is three. Okay. And number five is the only one standing alone in both this row and column. Okay. So now let's go to this puzzle. Let me just rearrange this just a little bit so that uh, I can show you what I mean. I'll have this put down there. Three we'll put here for now. Four we'll put here. Okay. Uh, well, actually, no. We'll put four here. Now, I said that the third row is probably going to be four and three. Why? Well, it all hinges on that rule which says that no number in any row is larger than the numbers below it. Okay. So let's say it's 5 and 2. Doesn't matter. Let's just say it's like this. Uh, well, that puts us in a weird position. Because 4 and 3 are both bigger than 2, so they can't be in any of these rows. In either of these rows, pardon me. But then again, 4 and 3 can't be in the 4th row, because 5 is bigger than both 4 and 3. See? So essentially, 5 has to be in the bottom row. Which means... That four, which has to be in this leftmost row, leftmost column, is in this row, in the third row, and three is there as well. Now, check this out. Three has to be there, and five has to be there. How do I know? Well, now we have the rule that five is a chess move. It's a chess move away from three, okay? Sorry if I'm a little slow, guys. It's like 2.30 in the morning over here, so I'm, <laughs> I'm you know, working on bad coffee. Uh, now, it has to be here, or it has to be here, but it, can't, it actually can't be here. I'm fairly positive that 5 and 3 and 4 are oriented like this. Why? Well, because a chess move, a knight move, rather, is like this. It's the L shape. And it's a knight move away between the 5, the five and the 3. If it were anywhere else, it would violate a rule. If it were here, 
the only chess move, the only knight's move, is going to get you to four. It can't be in this row, in which case the three would be here, because the leftmost row is reserved for fo uh, the the leftmost column is reserved for four alone. And it can't be here, because now we violate the condition that the fourth column has a sum of three. Okay, so it can only be here. Now, this means that four has its own column, three has its own column, and five is alone in its column and its row. Its row and its column. Okay? That means that really only this column is open for one and two. Two has to be below one, because there's no way that they can coincide on the same row. And that's it. I am almost positive that this is the solution. Let's take a look at the rules just to make sure. From five to three is a knight's move. There it is. That's a nice move. Some of the third row is seven. Four plus three is seven, yes. Four alone in the far left column. Correct. No uh, numbers greater than the numbers below them. Five, then four, three, then two, then one. Perfect. The fourth column sum is three. The only number in it is three, so yes. Five is alone, alone in both its row and its column. That's yes as well. So. I'm almost positive this is the right solution because there's just no other way to position these. And let's pull the lever. Nice. Okay, so that's done. Uh, let's... Okay, let's go ahead and reorient. Let's go see if the lever may be opened up or anything, but uh, if not, let's go reorient because I want to see what's in the other mechanics door. Go. Uh, okay, well, no. So let's reorient. Remember, the algorithm, for lack of a better term, is look at the second first, or look at the second uh, band first. Now, normally, or, you know, ideally, I would say look at the outer one rotated, but the outer one is there. Right? And so all we really have to do is rotate these two. And we're going to get the open door on the other side. Alright, so that's open on the other side. Just for good measure. No. Of course, because there's something else on that side. Here we go. Um, speaking of, it looked like that thing jammed a gear into some sort of mechanics. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, there's more gears here, okay. Way more steam. No. This feels like... This feels like a puzzle. Let's flip the page, because... I may have to take notes. Huh. I accidentally, um, pressed this button, but... No? Did I mess that up? Ah. Well. Ah. Three. Okay. Uh, so it's a Simon Says puzzle. Sorry for messing it up the first time, guys. I don't know... I don't know what happened. I guess I just I didn't pay attention to it at all. Now it's note taking time. Uh, not for nothing. That was five notes. So the next one's going to be longer than five. Um, I, I, I doubt my abilities to keep that much in, like, in line in my head for now. So let's. I'm going to hit this and I'm going to start taking notes. Basically, I'm just going to start writing numbers one through five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then we'll just go ahead and enter them. So let's go. Notes 15, oh, 15, 14 separate notes. Okay, here we go. Two, one, two, five, 
One. Three. One. Two. 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 Five. Two. Four. One. Four. Oh, man. Thank goodness for that. Fourteen is just sadistic. I mean, in a good way. In a good way. But it is, but it is sadistic. Um. <laughs> That's a missing gear, guys. And we just happen to pick up gear. Here we go. So let's go back to the overlook. Maybe the, maybe now we can push that. We can pull that lever. Um. So we've reassembled the mechanics for whatever, again, for whatever that's worth. Okay. Now. Cool. That is a, uh, I thought for a second that just like the plates were going down, but no, that's a totally different room. Let's go check it out. Assuming there are no partitions anymore. Okay. Uh, ah! <laughs> well, we know those. Those are the battery symbols. And yes, so these are the battery symbol indicators. They're all off. I'm assuming that if they were on, they would probably send the beam or something up there, and uh, whatever. What's this? Oh, I know what that looks like. Looks like, does not function like. Okay, another one of these machines that I can't power with an orange torch. I wonder if I could get, like, a white torch? You know, the, the one with the crystals that are, like, super high-powered? Yeah, we'll see. Speaking of... <laughs> that kind of looks like um, like a prototype battery. Okay, let's just do this. Order for batteries. Uh, do I bring from converter room? I mean, it's a worthwhile question, I think. What else we got? Chalk and, uh... Those look like... Kind of look like bricks, but I'm assuming there might be sponges. Okay. What's this? Wow. Ooh. Cool. Okay. And then... Alright, so that's the third piece for that tower puzzle. Or for the tower keys. I don't know what that is. That frightens me. Okay. Uh, we picked up that key. This one. I think I know exactly where it goes, though. Go back to the mine. I'll show you why I think that it goes there. And by I think, I mean... Pretty sure. It's right there. Uh, the reason for it is this. One, two, three, four... Okay, pips, one, two, three, four, All right? And it even fits the slot. Hmm. Now, I'm no professor, but I suspect that these have to be the same height in order to actually lock the tumblers. So, see this again? Okay, so these three in the back. No. No, because even with the height, I see. Get back up there, thank you. Uh, and this one was super tall as well. Right? So I can back it down like this. Okie dokie. Um, so, can I take the... No. He's locked. Fine. Another one of these... Um, hmm. Another one of these torch holders. Except this is a much more elaborate... ...device. Huh. 
Well, let's think for a second. This whole area, right, at least past this drawbridge, is devoted to white and orange crystals. Or creating orange crystal, uh, white crystals. We do need a white crystal torch. So is this what this is? Can I put my... Okay. Well, let's give it a shot, right? Um... This? Oh, this. No. Oh, 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 I know. Okay, so the, the light is where do you transfer it from. The handle is where you transfer it to. So, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five... I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Thirteen pips. Um, Twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, and we need to get to ten. That's easy enough, right? I got a nine, I got a one. Get three away. Nine in here. The one in here. I saw that, right? This thing got like. S is that what this is? Is that how you do it? You just like suck out the energy of the crystals through this machine. And. Yeah, check it out. It's now glowing. Cool. I mean, horrifying, but cool. Okay. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's start with the usual. Let's just put them all in one. Okay. Put it all here. Put this here. Okay, so what do I have? I have... I need to make six, right? Easy, easy, easy. Let's check this out. Okay, I have nine in here. We're gonna decant four of them. Then I got a one in there. Now we got a six. Now. Now. I need to get 11. Okay, it's going nuts. Oh, so it's all three crystals have to go in there. Definitely doing something nuts. I'm not standing next to that. Um, now we need 11, right? Let's start with the usual pattern here. Put everything into one. Okay. And then let's put nine here. Let's put nine here. We've got three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's simple enough. And we've got a four piece, right? We got one. Goes in here. And we got the other. It goes in here. Hit. White Crystal Torch. I like it. Uh, so now we have full power. Basically blew the lid off his machine so we can't make another one. It's not like we could find another torch. Um, okay. So, let's... I was going to say let's call it there, but I guess it's a little too early for that. A little late for me. Um, Let's go see what happens, because we know we need the white torch in the in the mechanics uh, area, for lack of a better term. And there's that little overpass or underpass or whatever you want to call it over there. And I still don't know what like these batteries and stuff do. What is it? The white torch. Uh, 
Aha. Uh -huh. That's right. Uh, these are not right, though. I mean, meaning, like, the... These don't correspond to the symbols on the chalkboard in the order that they appear. Okay. Uh, I don't know what this does, though. Let's go... Before, before we start messing around with the batteries, let's go check out that overpass. Or underpass. Whatever you want to call them. That area where there's also a holder right here. That we couldn't quite power. There you go. Nice. Swamp Isles discovered. Okay. This is like the decayed version? Whoa. These look like, um... That definitely looks like the, the crystals that were in the back of our portal. Or the portal where we came in. Did this send a signal? Huh. I'm not going over that bridge yet. Man, this place is like all collapsed and stuff. Crazy. get locked back here, am I? Oh! Oh! Huh! I didn't even know. I mean, like, I, I mean, how would anybody know that the rock sliding to the side would unveil a secret passage to the kiln? Okay. Go check out this bridge, then. Look around you. This is the gift the last one who called himself an explorer left behind. Seeking power, he defiled these once sacred grounds. And I couldn't stop him. I'll carry this burden forever. Okay, well, nice chatting with you, Warden. Um, I like the sway. Very cool. So I guess she blames the professor for this? Okay. Um, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's that thing? Where's that signaling device? Is the the um the call it the the wires gave me an idea. No, no. No, I'm not seeing them. Never mind. I feel like like there's a lever right next to a broken down uh, rope bridge. Hmm. It's like I should be able to come out there. No. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to ponder on that. And then I think I'm going to have to ponder on what's up with the batteries as well. And that'll be something for me to think about. And come back to next time. Oh, no, it's locked now. I don't even need the torch. Never mind. So, just out of curiosity, what happens if we put it in the white? Hmm? What happens if we put this here? No. Oh. There we go. Uh, okay. Definitely project something. Oh, wait. Remember there were two lights next to the oculus? There we go. Let me 
down here and see what's up. Huh. You know what this looks like? I know what this looks like. Wait. No, I don't. No, 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 that's one. Anything else come out of the ground? Like, at all? No, probably not. Hmm. Nope, just the one. Okay, fine. Let's just... This is a quarter of a piece. You know what this look? What I'm saying is this looks like the... Uh, something you would press onto the side of the box with... Uh, Let's go through the mines. With that third tower key in it. And let me just get straight back to mechanics where I'll show you what I'm talking about. And I think we'll call it there. Okay, so we're back here. Swamp Isles is nuts. I, I think we may have to do the thing with the batteries first. Before we even do the Swamp Isles. That's my thought. Uh, so here, this is what I'm talking about. See? Three... Three pins to a, to a quarter, and this is exactly what this looks like. So we need three more of these. Okay. Uh, and while we're here, out of curiosity. There you go. What the heck just happened? No, seriously, what the heck just happened? Do I have to run here? Okay, let's just do this one more time. No? No, 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 something went up there. I see, something came up. Uh... Okay, then. Okay, so... <laughs> my white torch. Oh, I left it in the, in the telescope because I wanted to see what else could, what else turned on around here. Okay, uh, so we'll call it there. Uh, next time, we'll come back, we'll do the battery thing and the mechanics. And hopefully then get to the aisles. Or maybe get another piece or two of this thing? I don't know. We will see. Let's... Can I put this here? Yeah, we can. Oh, nice. Uh, so, next time we'll come back here, we'll finish this... We'll finish. We'll do this puzzle, and we'll go from there. Okay? Uh, in the meantime, if you guys enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let me know that I'm doing something right. Let me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. Um, if you have thoughts, if you think I overlooked something, if you think... I'm doing something wrong or could do something differently or just have thoughts on the game in general by all means leave a comment everything's welcome and in any case i'll see you all next time Better,